I'm going to do the Sagittarius energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. Also, I just wanted to say is that I am just using my iPhone to record this. So um, I do not have a microphone. I apologize for any inconvenience. So you may need to turn your volume up a little bit. Um, hopefully soon I will have a microphone that will hopefully solve this problem. All right, um, let's see. So what is the conflict? What's going on with Sagittarius? What's going on? We have Knight of Swords. Okay, we have cards falling out everywhere. Okay. So we have the Knight of Swords, so having I feel like you're having trouble taking action with a situation. We have the hangman, which is stopping and taking a look and seeing things from a different perspective. I feel like it's kind of time to take a time out. We have the seven of pentacles, which is also about stopping and kind of assessing where you're at at the moment. And then we have the chariot. For me, I feel like the chariot, the chariot represents that forward motion but I also feel like the chariot represents that you're in control of driving the chariot, right? That you're in control of choices and decisions that you're making, that you're surrounding yourself with, you know, what type of people are you surrounding yourself with? Um, what environments are you putting yourself with? What are you, what things are you accepting in your life? Like like what energies or people or behaviors like I feel like you need to realize that you are in control of your environment and what you are surrounding yourself with I feel like it's kind of taking a step back and seeing things from a different perspective sometimes we feel like ha things are happening to us um, but I feel like we have the power to change those things. If we don't like something that's going on, then we have the power to change it. Even if it's just our, our, our own mind or our own thoughts. If we're always thinking negative, that things aren't going to happen for us, that things aren't going to work out for us, that that special person isn't going to come in, or that great job isn't going to happen, or that my finances are never going to get better. Like If that's the energy that you're putting yourself in, then you need to turn that around and say, yes, I'm a beautiful, wonderful person person and I deserve the best. I deserve the, a job that I enjoy doing. I deserve to have financial freedom. I deserve an amazing relationship. It's all about that perspective of, you know, what are we putting out there and that's what we're bringing back in. And I definitely believe in that because I have been in the service industry for a long time. I've been a cashier. I've been a hairdresser. I've been a receptionist and without a doubt, like working in with the public there were days where I would go into work and I would just be in a bad mood I would just I don't know why some or sometimes it would be a bad morning I was running late whatever and I would get to work and I would just ha I wouldn't even say anything and like people would respond to me without me even saying anything like they would be irritated too or they would be snippy or you know it would be that back and forth and like I wouldn't even say anything and there were days when I felt really happy and I was excited to be at work and I had you know just this positive energy around me and people would give that back to me again without even saying anything that people would give that back to me because they were feeling the energy that I had around me so that's why I feel I've known from personal experience that that energy that you put out is what you receive back in so I feel like that may be what you're struggling with and why you kind of have to take that time out and you have to see things from a different perspective and that if you're having trouble moving forward with something it could be a current relationship a job a situation finances that if you're having trouble moving forward with that forward with that what is what is that your perspective of that what are those blockades right are you accepting behavior that is not the best are you making excuses for someone else's bad behavior, right? Are you accepting that? Are you allowing that to happen? Um, I feel like, again, it's you being in control of that chariot and driving where your life is going to go and those energies that you're putting yourself into. Okay, so let's see what do you need to focus on. That intuition, right? That inner voice, that inner 
that intuition, what is that telling you? What is it saying to you? Is it really saying that you're not going to achieve your goals, right? But are you having those feelings inside that, you know what, I'm going to get there. It may be more of a challenge, but I'm gonna get there. So listening to that inner voice. We have the star, which is that direction, that hope, that guidance, believing in yourself, right? That path that you're following. Um, what is that your intuition telling you, right? What is it saying to you? Um, I feel like it's trying to guide you, but you just need to listen to it. Let's see, we have the death card, which represents Scorpio. So I feel like it's putting to rest that negativity and so that you can transform and you can change, right? And you can focus on those things that are important. Sometimes we just don't even realize the energy that we're putting ourselves into or we're surrounding ourselves with. Sometimes it could be the people that we surround ourselves with. Are they being positive? Are they motivated? Are they in that energy that we want to be in? Or are they in that energy that is pulling us back and pulling us down? Like that's something that we need to be aware of, of the environment that we are surrounding ourselves with. All right, let's check and see the energy that wants to come in for you. We have Queen of Swords getting down to the bottom of the situation and finding out the truth of the situation, but also getting past the situation. I feel that the Queen of Swords is somebody who has been through a lot of difficult things, but she has always persevered and she has always push, pushed through. So I feel like that's you too. It's that frame of mind is that I will get past this, right? I will move on from this. We have the Seven of Swords, so I like this one because I feel like it's kind of taking what you can, learn what you can from the situation as he has five swords, but he's leaving two swords behind. So he's leaving behind what does not work for him, right? Leaving behind, okay, I don't need to carry that baggage. I don't need to have that other stuff on my plate. I don't need to deal with that kind of stuff. I'm leaving that behind. I'm not dealing with it. It also could be that leaving behind that deception that you have within yourself that's saying that you can't achieve your goals, right? Like not having that anymore, right? Moving on from that. And then we have the two of wands. I feel like it's going on that new path, right? It's going in that new direction. It's that new, that enlightenment, that it's that new direction. It's that, um, you know, you got some choices to make here, right? Which way, which direction do you want to go? And do you want to kind of follow the path that you're already on? But if that's not working for you, why would you want to do that? Or do you want to move on to a different path, right? That path of listening to that inner voice and having that guidance of the star, right? And the death card where you're letting go what doesn't work for you, but you're focusing on what does work for you, right? You're, you're setting yourself up for success. Um, I always like to say that, and that's, I feel that's very important because that's a lesson that I had to learn for myself is that I would have all of these ideas and I'd want to get all of these things done and try all of these different things, but I couldn't achieve them all. So I would get frustrated with myself. So I had to learn to pare things down and say, okay, this is what I want to accomplish because I know I can get this done. And then I felt good because I was like, yes, I did get it done because I set myself up for success. I didn't put too much on my plate where I wouldn't be able to follow through and accomplish goals. All right, so let's grab a numerology card for your reading. I see, I feel like this one here, we have adventure. You're on a new adventure, number 55. So if fives mean anything to you, um, I feel like that also could be a sign for you. Like if it's 755 or 855, you know, maybe that could be a confirmational sign for you that you are on the right path um, also you're on an adventure that's what life is is an adventure it has its ups and downs it has its twists and turns but it's how do you handle those challenges that come in for you do you let them pull you down and pull you back or do you say I'm up for the challenge and I'm going to keep striving and pushing forward Okay, so let's grab a Star Dragons card. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, the links are down below. Okay, so a Star Dragons for Sagittarius. I feel like this one. We have trust, love, and friendship. I feel like, for some reason, I wanna say you have to trust yourself. Like, do you trust yourself? Do you trust yourself to make the right decisions and the right choices 
for yourself. And if you don't, why don't you trust yourself? Um, I also feel like it's important to surround yourself with people that are there to motivate you, um, that are there to support you, that are there to, that are on your side. Um, I feel like it's focusing on the people that are really th that you can trust. Sometimes we may only even have one person, one or two people that we can really trust. But I'd rather have one or two people that I could really trust rather than a whole bunch of people that I'm wondering, okay, why are, you know, I can't trust them. So I feel like you have to start with yourself first and then look at the people that you have surrounding you. All right, let's grab a fortune reading. Sometimes we just have to look at what we're, we have in our lives and what, what we're surrounding ourselves with. And sometimes we don't realize how much that's affecting us. Like if, if we have relationships with people that we don't feel so good afterwards, or we're like, you know what, are, are you really looking out for my best interest or are you looking out for your best interest? All right, so we have the fortune reading cards and we have plain. A journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. And I think that's pretty cool because it has the same colors as the adventure card. So I feel like for some of you, you may be traveling, you may be going on an adventure. Um, it could be physically, like I said, or metaphorically. And this is definitely an adventure for you, whether it's you know, just realizing those things and those outlooks and listening to your inner voice and having that guidance. And I feel like with that plane, it's like that guidance in that direction that things start to fall in place for you. And that's really exciting because it's like feeling good and knowing that you're on that path and you're feeling like you're moving forward and that you're not just trying to get through each day. You're actually enjoying each day and you're working towards your goals. And that's definitely a good thing. Um, let's grab, let's see, do we get all the cards? Star guidance? No, we need to do the animal oracle. Let's do an animal oracle to close this out for Sagittarius. Let's see. <laughs> I love it. We have Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold, right? Especially when those challenges come up and we're like, oh, I don't know, you know, this is out of my comfort zone. But being fearless and bold, and if this is something that you, with that high priestess, if you feel that intuition and you feel drawn to, being fearless and bold and going after your goals and your dreams and making things happen or believing in yourself, trusting in yourself, facing those challenges and knowing that hey, I'm going to get through this, that this is going to be okay, that I'm not going to back down, that I'm going to face the challenges and I'm going to keep on this adventure and keep pushing through. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.